Hey guys, this is systems of equations number three. Um, slightly different format in the question. Axe gets a job fixing driveways and building patios over the summer, and he keeps a record of his jobs in a table. Um, so in June, he he does 12 driveways with four patios, and he makes 5520 bucks. And in July, he does six driveways and 15 patios, and he makes $8,610. Or sorry, $8,610. And in August, he's going to do five driveways and seven patios, and we want to know how much money he's going to make. Now, the problem is we don't have any equations here, but we do know that uh, a driveway is an unknown amount, right? How much does Axe make for fixing a driveway, and how much does he earn for building a patio? That's Those are unknown amounts. In other words, these are X's over here. Uh, the amount that he makes for a driveway is unknown, and the amount that he makes for a patio is unknown. And we call the first one X and the second one Y. And, and now what happens is, is you can kind of figure these X's flow through the table. So 12 times the unknown amount per driveway, 4 times the unknown amount for a patio comes to 5520 bucks if we add them together. So um, down here, 6x and 15y will come to this amount. And then down here, we've got unknown. Well, how much is that going to be? Well, in order to get this amount, we need to know what the x and the y are. So we can use this table. Whenever you see a table like this, we're going to set those up into equations right away. Check it out. 12x. Sorry. Let's get this over here. 12x plus 4y is equal to 5,520. Uh, and down here we've got 6x plus 15y, and that's going to equal 8,610. And once we figure out our x's and our y's from this system, right, once we know what the X and the Y are, which have to be the same, because we know he charges the same in June as he does in July. It doesn't tell us he charges differently, just does different numbers of them. Um, once we solve this system, we can kind of plug it back in. But we've got to solve the system. Now, the comparison method that we learned in the last example says, hey, isolate Y in both equations and um, you know, solve, equate the X chunks and solve for X and plug back in and get the Y. That's one method. There's another method known as the elimination method, or sometimes called the addition method. And I'm going to show that down here. So it's called the elimination or the addition method. Now, what this method is, is really, really straightforward. Um, different way of getting the same result, but it works really nicely with these problems when the, when the y's aren't isolated and when the numbers are big and sometimes you get weird decimals. So this is just another way of going at it. And here's what you do. The first step is going to be to align them over each other. So we're going to align the equations. So just like they're kind of set up in the table, I'm going to rewrite them over here. So 12x plus 4y is equal to 5,520 over 6x plus 15y equals 8,610. And the goal of elimination is to do just that, to eliminate one of the variables, like get rid of the x or get rid of the y, in order to solve for the other variable, just like we did with comparison by adding the two lines together. Now, there's more than one way to do this, and some of you might see a shortcut here, but uh, if you follow this way, it will always work. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply. Once they're lined up, x's over x's and y's over y's, I'm going to multiply each equation by the coefficient of the opposite x. So the uh, shorthand way is I'm going to multiply by opposite x. So 
That means I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to multiply it by 6 because the opposite x is a 6 from the 12. And I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to multiply it by the 12. And regardless of what the rest of the numbers are, I'm always looking to eliminate that first one. What I'm doing is I'm going to eliminate those x's. You'll see what happens here. Numbers are going to get a little big. Don't get too freaked out here. But basically, I'm going to go six times each. Now, when you do that, you have to remember that we're distributing that six. It's going to get multiplied there. It's going to get multiplied there. And it's going to get multiplied there. And the same thing with that 12. It's going to get multiplied right across to all three. So your calculator would be handy here. Um, so the first thing I do is what 12 times 6 is. And when I do that, I get 72. So I'm going to rewrite now underneath. This is going to become 72x plus 6 times 4 is 24y is equal to, now I have to go 6 times 55, 20. And that's going to equal 33,120. Now, on the second equation, I'm multiplying by the opposite x, right? So this one, I'm going to multiply by 12. So again, I'm going to get 72. And that's not a coincidence. That's what I'm trying to achieve. You'll see why in a second. So 72x, and then 12 times 15, right, 180, so plus 180y is equal to, now i got to go 12 times 8610. And that will be 103,320. Now, once you've done that, uh, and you've multiplied by the opposite x, and I'll put the little note in there, distribute, right? Remember that it's got to be right across all three terms. The next thing we're going to do is a little bit weird. What we're going to do is we're going to subtract. Now, I know it's called the addition method, but um, what we're, trust me on this one, it's easier for me to explain it to you is subtract everything. But when we do the subtraction, we don't just subtract that front term. What we're going to do is we're going to change the sign on every single term below. So I'm subtracting this one, I'm subtracting this one, and I'm subtracting this one. And if one of these was a negative, we would have to change it to a positive. We would reverse the sign. So by subtracting, I'm really saying reverse all the signs. Um, and what that's going to achieve now is the following. When we, when we now go and, technically speaking, add these two lines together, you're going to see how that canceled out. 72x minus 72x leaves me with 0x. The x is gone, which leaves me with now 24y minus 180y or plus negative 180y. So 24 plus negative 180, or 24 minus 180, is negative 156y is equal to, now, 33,120 minus 103,320. So clear, 33,120 minus 103, 320 is equal to negative 70,200. Almost there. What do I have to solve for? I have to solve for y. And how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to divide both sides now by negative 156. And that's the second to last step. When we do that, I'm going to get y is equal to something. So I'm going to take that number, negative 70,200, and I'm going to divide it by negative 156, and that's going to leave me with 450 for the y. So the y is 450, right there. That's what he's charging for a patio, 450 bucks. What I don't know is the x. So I'll just take a quick second here. And once I've done the subtraction, I'm going to solve y. Well, the last step is to go ahead and solve x. And to solve the x, all I really need to do is um, plug this y into one of those equations and solve 
4x. So it takes a little math here, and I'm, I'm, you can see I'm starting to run out of some paper. So I'm going to just bring um, a new piece of paper in. Just to cheat the corner here, um, you've got these steps written down. If you don't, go ahead and write them down now because I'm just going to slide a piece of paper in and work off of that blank space there. Okay, so I've got my y is equal to 450 and now I've got to find my x. So I'm going to take this first equation, doesn't matter which of the equations you use, and I'm going to write down 12x plus 4y is equal to 5520. And I'm going to put that y into the equation. So I'm going to write down 12x plus 4 times 450 is equal to 5520. And you can start to see how this is going to start to simplify. 12x plus 4 times 450 is 1800 is equal to 5520. Um, so now I'm going to subtract the 1800 and I'm going to be left with 12x is equal to 5520 minus 1800 is 3720. And now what do I do? I divide both sides by 12. And when I do that, I'm left with 310. And that's the charge for a driveway. So there's your patio. There's your driveway. So that's the X and that's the Y. So if you think of it as an ordered pair, it's 310, comma, 450. That's where those guys meet. So the driveway, right, driveway, 310, patio, 450. Now the question is, how much do we make in August? Well, that's the last piece of the puzzle, and it's really the easiest piece because we know now that an X is 310, and we know that a Y is 450, and we know that he did five driveways and he did four patios. So August is gonna be equal to five times 310 plus seven times 450 and whatever that comes to, right? So if 310, you can see my 310 is sitting there, times five. 1550 plus clear that up 7 times 450 is 3150 3150 which I'm going to add to my 1550 1550 added gives me a grand total of 4700 bucks um, that's how you use elimination I'm just going to recap really quickly the steps. Align the equations, multiply by the opposite x, and then sub change all your signs and subtract, solve for y, plug back in and solve for x, and then once you have the x and the y, you can answer the last question.